of Electricity Friends. Back again with Max. You surely know the name of the toy flying behind Max, right? Correct. It's called a kite. When we see a kite in the sky, it's really cool, right? But brother, can all kites fly? Well, you should know that this kite is moved by the wind. If we let out the kite string, our kite will definitely move higher, right? How is that possible? That's because the wind provides thrust energy, making our kite rise higher into the air. Of course, it's not only kites that need wind energy. There are many uses of wind energy in our daily lives. Let's find out! The use of wind energy was first utilized to propel boats as early as 5,000 years before the common era by the Egyptians. In the 7th century, the Persians began using wind energy to drive windmills for irrigation and milling. Then, as science advanced, windmills were developed to generate electricity. By using turbines or windmills to rotate generators, wind can be converted into electricity. The first wind turbine was created in the 19th century by Polatko, a Danish inventor. This technology is known as wind power plant or wind energy power plant. Indonesia has already begun harnessing the wind by building wind power plants since the year 2018. In addition, Indonesia has a coastline spanning 80,791.42 kilometers, which is a potential area for wind power plant development. Friends of Emlet, did you know that the wind speed in Indonesia is generally between 4 to 5 meters per second? So. The electricity potential generated from wind power plants is quite significant. Moreover, the energy source from wind is more environmentally friendly because it does not produce harmful gases like carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. So our environment remains clean and free from pollution that can cause warming. Oh yes! It turns out there is a tool that functions to measure wind speed. That tool is called an anemometer, which was discovered in 1450 by Leon Battista Alberti. Anemometer measures wind speed in units of meters per second or knots. In addition, the anemometer can also measure wind pressure. Really cool, right, friend Emlet? Now we know that wind energy can be converted into electrical energy, and there are many more benefits. Oh yes, Emlet friends, try to mention what objects can be moved by the wind. It's easy, Max is waiting for your answers. See you again, Emlet friends, in the next video. Goodbye! Hey, friends of the Electricity Museum, did you know? The new PLN 4.0 Unleashing Energy and Beyond.